1987 Farm Progress Show TRT 2850 or so. This is the World's Fair of Agriculture, right here in central Iowa, near Alleman, the Farm Progress Show, 1987. Uh, about a quarter of a million people will uh, walk through these grounds over the next uh, couple of days. They'll be uh, looking at farm machinery, making decisions on buying. Uh, they'll be out in the fields looking. This is a unique farm show because it's hands-on. Let's begin our two-day look uh, with uh, some history about this very special show. This World's Fair of Agriculture comes to Iowa every third year. It's held in Indiana, Illinois, and Iowa on a rotating basis. Last year was Iowa's turn, but heavy September rains led to the first ever show cancellation. The event was held over another year, also for the first time. Monty Sesker is editor of show sponsor, Wallace's Farmer Magazine. Uh, how Was it a big disappointment to everybody in the company from last year? Oh, that goes without saying, Roger. Uh, it certainly was. We're sure happy, however, though, that the decision was made to bring the show back to Iowa. Uh, we uh, haven't been in Iowa for four years now, and we hope we uh, draw a big crowd. Let's, for folks that have never seen a Farm Progress show, let's talk about what this is all about. It's, it's really show and, t and tell time, more so than any farm show in the world. That's true. That's, that's one of the things that makes our show different. We're able to run the machines in the field. Farmers can see them working side by side and really, really get a feel of what these uh, units will do uh, under actual field conditions. That was one of the original ideas behind this show, Roger, was to uh, uh, make our advertising pages come alive in actual field demonstrations and product uh, shows. Uh, right on the exhibit field, letting the farmers uh, visit with the technicians and, and people that really make these things work. It started in 1953, our sister publication in Illinois, the Illinois Prairie Farmer. Uh, their editors were sitting around uh, visiting and wondering what they might do to, to really bring something new to farmers to let them see the latest ideas, the latest innovations in farm machinery and equipment. And uh, that's how the show was born. And uh, in 1959, then that's the first show in Iowa. It was on the Elijah Farm uh, in Clarence, Iowa. Okay. It started out as a one day and it's expanded. That's true. Uh, started as one day, went from one day to two days, and eventually to three days. The first show they thought would draw 10,000 people and actually counted were uh, 30,000. That's incredible. How many this year do you think? We uh, we anticipate somewhere around 200,000. Those are the figures that the Highway Patrol have been giving us the last few years, and so 200,000 or a few more. For an event this big, someone has to make day-to-day -day decisions all year long. For two years, the buck has stopped with show manager Mark Wilson. Mark, after last year, how do you feel this year? <laughs> Uh, right now, I feel a lot better. Uh, we had uh, a lot of problems with the weather last year. Uh, we certainly don't think that can happen again to us. Uh, every time it rains now, I get a little bit nervous, but uh, we've got to live through it and looking for a good show this year. If nothing else, the added publicity may bring in some few more people than what we had last year. We got the same number of exhibitors, basically the same setup. Uh, it was a lot easier for me throughout the winter. Mark, what was the attitude of folks last year, that the exhibitors that uh, spent quite a bit of time putting up sometimes in the rain and then had to not only haul it down but mud it out? Uh, everybody was disappointed last year after the show. There was a lot of broken hearts and uh, things like this, but everyone was very understanding. That's one thing that uh, really was uh, good for me to see was that the exhibitors were you know, feeling sorry for other people more than they were themselves. The host farmers, the local churches running the food stands, uh, everything like that. Everybody was feeling sorry for someone else, and uh, it was a good all-around atmosphere. Everybody understood that the way the grounds were, there was just no way we could have had the show. Mark, let's go back two years, uh, even three. Uh, tell me the, the process of getting one of these shows uh, going. Okay, uh, first of all, we, we look for the area a year and a half in advance, over a year and a half, about two years in advance of the show. We go into the state where we're going to have the show, uh, look through areas where we haven't been before, or areas we haven't been in a long time. 
uh, look for areas that have major interstates, uh, motels, restaurants, things like this. It will handle the exhibitors and the people coming in. Uh, we set the site at that particular time, uh, announce it a year and a half in advance, uh, work with the state police, the DOT at that time, the phone companies getting the routes and the telephone lines and that kind of things arranged. And then I basically kind of let it go idle for a while while I'm working on the show that I'm currently at that time and then move into the area in January of the year the show is supposed to be there and work on uh, all kinds of things. From this year's Farm Progress show is being held on parts of the Stahl, Tweet, Corey, and Holland farms. Getting involved in the first place takes commitment. Jack Holland and his family operate a 1,900-acre grain farm. They had uh, kind of looked over the area and decided they liked the site, and they approached us mm -hmm. to see if we were interested. How'd you feel about it at first? Was it just immediate, hey, that sounds like a great idea? No, no, not exactly. We uh, said no, just frankly. I said no when they came to me, and I know Mr. Tweet did too, and they just asked if they could sit down at the kitchen table with us for an hour and explain their side of the show, and uh, we agreed to that. And I would say now, looking back, that after that hour question and answer period, that I would say our minds were made up, but we really didn't tell them for about another month. We went and done a little checking with past host farmers and uh -huh. it checked it out and it sounded uh, like something we wanted to try. So we all agreed and uh, yeah. then the second year came up and we said, let's try it again. How'd you feel last year about this time? Oh, I felt bad for the exhibitors and the people running the show worse than I did myself because I knew I would eventually get my crop out by my normal ways. The people had invested a lot of time and a lot of money trying to get this show to go, you know, and then it was canceled. So they got hurt much worse than we did. Did you feel good about it coming back? Yeah, I did. I was, I'm going to really miss it next year. I'm getting used to this two years in a row. Many, many exhibitors. How many in this year? We should have over around 300 exhibitors this year. It's about the same